This week on Sportsman TV, we're just north of the border. Uh, South Texas is definitely a different place from where we normally hunt at. You know, we spend a lot of time hunting in the Delta, in the Louisiana Delta, on the Mississippi. And South Texas is a desert. I don't know how to explain it. it. It's a weird place because it's just old red dirt and it looks like nothing would grow and it is incredible at the sheer number of animals. Phil Marks is the gentleman who invited us and he is the, uh, the lure designer at Strike King. I've been going there for since like 2005, I think, and uh, get invited about every year. And after you go the first time, it's it's a place you feel like, I guess it would be like maybe going to the Keys. I don't know, like a cool place to vacation, you know, because just it's and it's a wide open type honey. You know, Phil brought his son Hunter down and I took my two boys, Drew and Luke, and uh, it's a great place for kids to hunt because we spend a lot of time riding around hunting out of the truck. You know, a lot of places they frown on that, uh, but South Texas is one of those places where it is the preferred way to hunt. Can you get her now, Jerry? Yeah, I'm on. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Just take your time, Drew, and squeeze the trigger. You hear me? Put the safety up. Go. Squeeze the trigger. Smoked her, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what you're supposed to hear. Is that awesome? <laughs> That's awesome, man. Uh, well, you know, uh, basically we rolled up and we finally got us some does to set steel. That'll be the first kill for the hunt. 250 yard shot. That's a, but you know, but we had a really good red, you know, shooting off a really good platform and he took his time and we got us some deer meat to eat. There she is right there. <laughs> you some skin. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. Don't just be a sportsman, look like one too. Men, women, kids, everyone wants to look like a good sport. And now you can find it all in one place without leaving the house. Our popular sportsman brand apparel and accessories are just a click away at 4sportsman.com. T-shirts, caps, polarized sunglasses, jewelry, tumblers, and more are available in a variety of sizes and colors. It's easy to show the world that you are a sportsman. Visit 4sportsman.com today and get that perfect sportsman item for yourself or as a gift for that sportsman in your life. Last year, PSE introduced the Dream Season DNA. It was quickly recognized as the best bow on the market. With the center lock two pockets, an ultra lightweight riser, and the flex cable slide, the DNA featured the best technology available. This year, the best bow has gotten better. With the DNA SP, all the greatness of the Dream Season DNA paired with the new source cam, giving the bow a smoother pull and longer valley. There's no beating PSE's DNA. Experience PSE. Experience performance. When the light is low, that's when you find them. Scouting endless hours till I choose just the right one. I'm Lamar Smith, and I'm hunting a brush country monster. Out here, seeing is truly believable. 
May opto-rifle scopes, binoculars, and spotters with twilight-optimized optics give me an advantage to see more and hunt longer when I'm hot on the trail of that monster buck. Big Media Solutions offers custom book publishing, event planning, and sales and marketing consultation to its clients in the business and industrial sector. Big Media also offers media partnerships and agency services to others in media, including publishing, video, and film production. Contact Big Media Solutions at 800 460 4242 or visit bigmediasolutions.com. I mean, we just got on the stand, and we already got four or five deer out. Uh, I don't got a gun loaded yet, and we got us a shooter, eight point. Well, the deal is, he just he just came out there and he's eating corn. So I don't want you to get in any hurry about shooting him. I want you to wait till he's completely broadsided, and there's no other deer behind him, and it's a perfect shot. Okay, so when it comes time. Okay, Jared, I'm scared he's gonna get too close. He's gonna smell us. Smoking, my friend. Smoking. Smoking. That was awesome. Shh, shh, shh. Don't talk too loud. We got a special situation here where we're going to get to stay and hunt us another one. That's what you want to happen. The deer probably started out close to 200 yards. Then he just starts feeding. You know, it was a real quiet afternoon. It took us, you know, a little bit to get around and, uh, you know, for Luke to get ready for the shot. And we finally got locked in. The deer, you know, relatively close, 75 or 80 yards. And, he makes a perfect high shoulder, just dirt naps him right in the road, which that's what we like because it's so thick there and so many thorns. Man, tracking anything there is difficult because you're fixed to come out looking like a pin cushion. Every plant there will bite you. I mean, every one. It's probably the only thing I don't like about that area is the, is the plant life is vicious. But another thing, again, that gives me the utmost respect for the animals because they just run right through that stuff. You'll kill a deer, a hog, or something, and I mean, it's just, they got prickly pears stuck all over them. It's, it's amazing that they can live there. We got a buck laying this way, we got some doe laying this way. We can go home with lots of deer meat. <laughs> we shot the deer so early this afternoon, we went ahead and stayed on the stand and and uh, got us a doe after that. So we, we sure enough doubled up this afternoon and had a great hunt. But big bodied deer, good horn. I mean, we're having a heck of a trip in Texas. Well, basically what we're doing here, this big silo right here is full of golden bait, corn. And so uh, we're filling this feeder up. You know, it's hard to have food plots in Texas, you know, in this part of the country because it's so arid. And so, you know, the main food that these deer have this time of the year and all the other wildlife too is the corn. And so you notice that's a big feeder, four or 500 pounds. And, uh, we just corn the areas before we hunt them. It's so funny, there are no corn plants around, but it's funny how wildlife knows, you know, it knows what that corn is.
Oh, oh I'm out of shell! <laughs> that was awesome! <laughs>this group of hands we got like a Chinese fire drill but we rolled up on a group of pigs and uh, couldn't work any better they just came to us so we got three maybe four out of the group so we're shooting pigs man <laughs> well we've recovered the first one uh, this is the first one I shot it's a big female big sow and you can tell she's had uh, she's had pigs you know the the big deal about you know we've talked about this before trapping them dogging them shooting them when you're deer hunting whenever you're in the woods you know the opportunity um, of course great table fare you know honestly to me a, a wild hog's better tasting than a tame one uh, just another opportunity to another species to hunt too when you're out you know deer not moving squirrels not moving whatever you know some hogs show up and now because of their population i mean there's just so many ways to hunt them you know you've seen them on this show we've hunted them airboats and here in texas they hunt them with a helicopter i mean it's uh it's probably there are more fun ways to hunt hogs than there are any other species you can hunt them at night with a light i mean it's just a lot of things that uh you know a lot of ways that you can hunt them this was actually the second time that we had been to Texas and Drew and Luke got to go and the first time Drew actually killed two javelinas and Luke shot at one on the last afternoon of the hunt and missed it so he hadn't got to kill one so that's kind of been a big and Drew's got a javelina school at home and Luke didn't have one so uh, we just happened to roll around and there's some javelina in the road. We just killed us a javelina. This is kind of a bonus animal, very very rare in Texas. And I just got me. Even rarer in Louisiana. <laughs> <laughs> Bowie Outfitters is your one-stop shop for all types of outdoor cooking. Tailgating? We've got Bayou Classic Barbecue Pits and King Cooker Jambalaya Pots. If frying's your favorite, check out r &D Works Cajun Fryers and Cajun Injector Products to keep meat moist and flavorful. Black iron skillets are key in a southern kitchen, and Bowie carries a big selection of lodge cast iron, plus Bayou Classic Pots for your next crawfish boil. Come to Bowie Outfitters and let us get you cooking. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. At PSE, we believe in good. Good people, good equipment, and good values. Values our forefathers understood, like the right to keep and bear arms. Protect and defend our families, and pass those values on to our children. We believe in the NRA, because they fight for those rights every day. PSE is an archery company, but first and foremost, we're an American company. We stand behind our right to keep and bear arms. At PSE, we believe that's important, because we, we believe, believe in America. America. When the light is low, that's when you find them. Scouting endless hours till I choose just the right one. I'm Lamar Smith, and I'm hunting a brush country monster. Out here, seeing is truly believing. May Opta rifle scopes, binoculars, and spotters with twilight optimized optics give me an advantage to see more and hunt longer when I'm hot on the trail of that monster buck. Louisiana Sportsman Magazine. For over 31 years, your source for fishing and hunting information. Each month you will find stories by local experts on everything from bass to redfish to ducks, deer to trout and turkey. We've got incredible local information that you can use immediately to get more success outdoors. You'll also enjoy monthly columns on cooking, the latest lures, GPS locations, shooting, kayaks, and much more. Have Louisiana Sportsman delivered to your house and safe. $24.99 gets you a full year of Louisiana Sportsman. To order today, visit louisianasportsman.com. Uh, well, basically, you know, we know that the whole, you know, especially the southern part of the United States has a huge issue with wild hogs or feral hogs right now. 
and uh, we noticed that, you know, here's your deer feeder, and you got up this, you know, yeah, panel we, wire fence around it. We definitely have our fair share of them, and the the, the uh, cattle panel is just simply to keep them out. And we, we we make them pretty big, so the deer have plenty of room. They don't feel, you know, trapped or in little confined spaces. They're just high enough to keep the hogs out, but deer can easily jump and go in them. And then, of course, they're not high enough if you're hunting from a blind where you can have a clear shot, you know, so you don't have to worry about hitting the actual. So if you so needed to good. shoot one under that feeder, you could shoot one under yes, there. Sir. We've decided on a pretty big circular enclosure. A lot of people ask why it's so big. Well, the corn that's slung out, if it gets just outside the fence, those hogs will just ring around it and then inevitably they'll get in. The other reason we do uh, circular stuff, circular pins rather than square or rectangular, is that you can just start with your panels. You don't have to pre-measure anything and you just go and kind of fit it at the end and that and you don't have a corner. Those corners seem to be where those hogs will congregate, they'll start pushing and inevitably they'll get in that way too. So and once they get in, they figure out they can get in, you, you have a heck of a time getting them out. But it takes two guys three hours, it'll cost you about $300 to do the heavy gauge panels. Uh, you get the short T-posts. Uh, you don't want to go any higher, I, I believe these are 40 inches. They may be three foot, I can't remember exactly, but you don't want to go any higher than that because you still want the bullet, you want to have a clear bullet trajectory in if case you want to shoot, actually shoot inside the pin. Another thing, you want to put the T-post inside the panel, so if they're pushing, they're not pushing it away from the wire and, and have a chance of the wire breaking in one, because a big 300 pound hog, they're pretty strong, you know, if they go to push it on something. So put the T-post inside the panel rather than on the outside. Well, we we got some does down here in the road, and uh, we can't get close enough to the, in the truck to shoot them out of the truck. So we're gonna make this little salamander. We uh, we can go down the road down here and get to the curb, and we'll get within about 200 yards of them, and get close enough to uh, to make a shot. Well, there were two big does um, that we were going to shoot, and uh, just about the time I crawled out, a big pack of javelina came out in the road and ran them off right in that ditch. So there's uh, two more little does standing, uh, standing in the road, so I thought what well, might happen. Those other deer might come on out up there where they were. I don't, they typically aren't afraid of those javelina, but they, I guess those javelina got too close and they, but what's fixed to happen, you know, because on Sportsman TV, we're always ready to adjust. If those other two uh, doe don't pop out pretty quick, <laughs> we fixing to just regroup onto another animal. We fixing to shoot Havelina because I haven't killed one since we've been here. So, so you're rolling, right? You ready? Really? Didn't work, I only got one. <laughs> I waited till another one got right behind that one and I lined them up and was going to try to get me two, but undoubtedly uh, the bullet didn't, uh, didn't exit. Yeah. It's a cool thing about coming to an exotic place hunting like this, I mean there's so many animals to hunt. You know, the quail, the javelina, they have hogs, deer, and you know we're opportunists on this show. I mean we can be crappie fishing and catch a bass or be cat fishing and catch a carp, it doesn't matter, you know, whatever comes around, we just like to enjoy all of it. I think he's endangering me. That's a big rattlesnake. Hey, have you ever seen this young lady with the snake round up? Don't. Like now that, y'all know that snake is six foot. You know, that's one thing about South Texas is so much different from where most people hunt at is the range of the shots. A hundred yards is a really close shot there. And the deal is because they're long, straight senderos, 
Uh, it's hard to get close to the animals. You know, Jared got to shoot long range his first time. I mean, it was a doe pushing four. I think she was right around 400 yards, which is an extremely long shot. <laughs> Look good. Shot right over. <laughs> I don't know. I think he shot to the left. But the other cool thing about shooting that far there down those roads, you can tell if you miss or not because you typically see the bullet hit. And so we knew it was a clean miss. And then, you know, later on we roll around. I get opportunity to shoot me some at about the same distance. I do the same thing that Jerry did. It's just a, you know, just a clean miss. Uh, we're fit, I'm fixing now. Attempt the, my longest shot. Okay, she's got her head down now. She got her head down, right? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Still good. You ready, Jerry? Okay. About how far? Four hundred. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna try it right there. Yeah. You hit that little egg part. No, I didn't. He just, I was watching. I see him pulling hot. And he's up there. Over here at Bowie Outfitters, hunting and fishing is our passion. We can help you pick all the right gear for your next fishing trip. We spend time in the woods too, so we know what products to recommend when hunting season comes around. We understand the outdoors and what it takes to have success on your hunting and fishing adventures. So come on down to Bowie Outfitters and let us help get you going. Bowie Outfitters, everything outdoors. Everybody likes big racks and this hunting season, Sportsman brand apparel has the right shirt for you. Our Big Rack shirts come in three different colors and they're a perfect way to show the world you are a sportsman. Go to foursportsmen.com and check them out. While you're there, check out our camo hats and our camo fleur de lis shirts. Sportsman, it's who we are. Big Media Solutions offers custom book publishing, event planning, and sales and marketing consultation to its clients in the business and industrial sector. Big Media also offers media partnerships and agency services to others in media, including publishing, video, and film production. Contact Big Media Solutions at 800-460-4242 or visit bigmediasolutions.com. LouisianaSportsman.com is the South's premier hunting and fishing website. Planning a hunting or fishing trip? Visit LouisianaSportsman.com and get up-to-the-date information on weather, tides, or solar no data. Our breaking news and continually updating form will keep you up to date. Or visit our report section and ask the locals what's been biting and where. Need to sell or buy an outdoor item? LouisianaSportsman.com's free classifieds are the quickest way for you to reach the outdoor market. LouisianaSportsman.com, the quick way to get the most of the outdoors. Well, basically it was extremely cold this morning and uh, we sat in this blind and actually saw a really big deer and we, so we came back here this afternoon. What we're dealing with this evening is lots of wasp. It went from being 30 degrees at daylight this morning to the low 70s now. So, uh, you know, basically it's, it's, it's even before the pre-rut here. And so, you know, these deer, it's cold weather. We got to move a little bit, but still not very good. So we're just hoping, you know, that deer or another big one will come out and eat some corn this afternoon and give us a chance to shoot it. I knew this, soon, this deer was a giant body deer. As soon as he came out in the road, I knew he was a mature deer. And he came out like a long ways, probably 300. And so we're, you know, we're waiting on this other deer, but I'd already, you know, made a decision. Worst case scenario, the other deer doesn't show. We're not letting this one get away. This is a big mature deer. Take your time. 
Andrew. Yes, sir. I'm going to get his broadside. Squeeze the trigger. Smoke him, my man. I mean, I mean. <laughs> I got him. That's the way I like for him to go down. God, that was awesome. That was awesome. <laughs> I mean, dirt nap. Dirt nap. It was a perfect shot. I mean, he never even kicked. I got to watch it all on camera. And you know, people talk, think about Texas. A lot of people who've never been there before, they think about small bodied deer. You know, people say, well, deer in Texas, they got big horns, but they got small body. This deer that Drew shot was sh solid 200 live weight, if not 210 or 215. I mean, that's a big deer. I mean, that's the same kind of deer, you know, that's killed on the river. Nice. Look at it, he does have a great big old neck. Right there. Oh, he is a freaking slug. <laughs> Golly. Oh, he's a big old deer. Yeah, you know the deal is, I, I mean, you know, honestly, my favorite place to hunt is at home. I mean, there's no doubt. I mean, I like to hunt and fish at home. I, I spend a lot of time traveling, but uh, I do enjoy to go about once a year, twice a year to South Texas, and I advise there, anybody who gets that opportunity should try that. You know, most of the time, we, we hunt around home, and we, we showcase what we have, and we are very, very blessed with, you know, what we have at home, but it's cool to go out, and uh, it's almost like poaching on somebody else's property, you know? We get to see how the other half lives, and high intensity, moving, hunting, a lot of variety, a lot of different animals. South Texas is the place. And I do. I advise everybody to go. You know, we had a great time in South Texas. What, what a great place to go on vacation and enjoy some different hunting. But there's no place like home. Join us here next time on Sportsman TV.